the research team also met Loro and Teco Cooperative Group in Oyam District, which comprises six former groups and 38 members. Four groups are women run, one is mixed, while another is composed of youths. David Oite, who is the chairman of the Youth Farmer Group in Oyam, narrated to the research team through an interpreter that they have been facing challenges of poor yields characterized by rotting tubers. They recently found out that it was cassava mosaic disease. It's called Ure David. It's called Ure David. I'm the chairman of Youth Group the Kalodonga Wele. Oh, Mogo one been new and been new by That for him he got the importance of growing cassava. Yeah, I've been a poor caro caro chancha. That's how Kelly changed a bad guy charro. You were my charra. Kelly, you were my chama. That's no point you want. Because he grew, he grew cassava previous years, and it used to help him in sale for sale and for consumption. That's all. But in, but in past two years, he started getting problems. That cassava grows when it is time for harvest, you get when it is already rotten. So whenever you, you pick it, you get when it is now spoiled, it cannot be eaten. Yeah. And for last year, it started getting rotting from down up to the stems. And after six months, the old cassava were destroyed by the up to this moment, they are just uprooting the cassava because of those diseases. And even the stems to be planted, replanted, are not there because the other ones were affected by the disease. <laughs> And because of that, we have the problem of getting the stems, because those stems would help when they, it is planted. It can be for human consumption and for sale, but now there is shortage of the stems. And due to that, is requesting that if you, you people could possibly Accept and bring the stems to be of great value. Thank you.